guys, welcome back to Crypto Skillet. In this video, I'm back with another update on Qubits Cube. So it's been a little while since I've done an update about this project. I think my last video about this one was maybe a week and a half ago. And guys, what can I say is still absolutely crushing it. You can see my account balance is still growing really nicely. I've got over $713 now. And I'm still earning that passive income every single day of between 2 and 3% daily ROI. Now, as I showed you guys in my previous videos, I've been testing out some of the different customized cubes and cross comparing them with their pre-built strategies. And I've been continuing to do that. And I'm going to show you my results here in just a minute. Now, if you're not already familiar with this platform, Qubits Cube is a DeFi passive income project that is based on automated trading strategies or what they call quantitative trading strategies. And it is an invitation only project, which means that you need an invitation code to even join the platform. But of course, I've got my invitation code down below in the description for you guys. Or you can just simply use my sign up link that's down below in the description. And that's going to automatically fill in that invitation code. So you guys will be good to go. Now, I've already done a complete walkthrough and review of this project. So if you want a very thorough walkthrough that takes you step by step through all of these features and shows you exactly how everything works, I definitely recommend watching my first video about Qubits Cube, and I'll leave that link for that video down below in the description for you guys. Now, basically, there are two main ways that you can use this platform. So one way is to connect it through an API to your trading account. So if you use Binance or OKX, you can come over here where it says futures. And then here you can connect this using the API to your trading account, and it's going to execute these quantitative trading strategies within your own trading account. Okay, now this is not the way that I use it. I don't use this feature at all. Instead, I use it as a standalone DeFi platform. So it basically keeps everything contained right here within the platform. You never have to go outside of it. And that just makes everything much simpler. So basically you just deposit funds onto the platform using recharge. Okay, and then you can either deposit using fiat or you can use USDT TRC20, which of course is what I've been doing. And then once you've got your funds on the platform, you can come to where it says Cube Shop. You can purchase any of their different cubes, okay? So they have three different cubes here. One of them lasts for four hours, one of them lasts 12 hours, and this one lasts for 24 hours. Now, I've been using the 12-hour and the 24-hour cubes primarily, and lately, it's really just been these 24-hour cubes. Okay, now buying the cubes themselves is super cheap. Like this one's only 10 cents, this one's 20 cents, and this one's 40 cents. And I've been using up a lot of these. In fact, I only have three of these left. So just to give you a quick demonstration, if I wanted to buy a few more of these, I'm just gonna click buy, then click confirm. And then I'm gonna enter the quantity of cubes that I wanna buy. So like, let's just say I wanna buy five more. I'm gonna type five. And then that shows me that's gonna cost me $2. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. And there we go, it says purchase successful. And I now own a total of eight of these 24 hour cubes. Okay, so then once you have the cube, you can click on use and then you can put whatever amount of capital that you want from your account balance into that cube. And then that's going to run for that period of time. So if you ran a 24 hour cube, that means it's going to run for 24 hours and then it returns all of your capital plus those profits that it earns directly back to your account. So if I come over here back to user again, you can see my account balance right there. And we're gonna come over here and check out my order log so you can see all of my latest results because I've made some really interesting discoveries. Again, I have been cross comparing the results between their pre-built strategies and my own customized strategies that I've been experimenting with. So we're gonna look at that in just a second, but real quick, I've gotten some questions from people in my Telegram group asking about their KYC procedure. So again, I have talked about this in my first review video that I did about Qubits Cube. But basically, if you're investing more than $300, which obviously I am, you have to complete their KYC procedure. Now, as I told you guys, you can use any ID, okay? When I did this, I did not use my real ID. I just used one that I found on Google. Okay, just being totally upfront, that's actually the same thing that my friend who initially told me about this platform said that he did as well. Okay, so you come down here where it says more, and then you click on KYC verification. And that's where you can submit that photo of any ID. Now, it's very important to note that initially it's gonna say that it gets rejected. This has happened to every single person that I've talked to. And that's exactly what happened with me as well. Okay, so all you have to do is just wait 24 hours. And then when you come back, it should be confirmed. Okay, I've had multiple people in my Telegram group reach out to me saying that exact same thing happened to them. They came back 24 hours later and it was all good. They were confirmed, they were verified. Okay, so that's important to know just in case you didn't see my first video. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and check out my order log. But real quick, before we do that, if you're new to the channel, just want to take a second to say welcome to Crypto Skillet. Here at this channel, we talk about all things crypto, and I share the latest and greatest DeFi projects and ways to make money in the crypto space. So if that's your cup of tea, then go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. And do keep in mind that nothing in this video is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an investor sharing my thoughts, experiences, and opinions. So always do your own research and never invest more than you're willing to lose into any crypto project. And now with that said, let's get back to the video. Okay, so when I come over here and click order log, this is where you can see a record of all of the cubes that I have activated. And it's getting to be a very long list now. Okay, so in general, I'm making somewhere between $12 and $15 a day. And obviously, as my account balance grows, I'm able to invest more. So then my earnings tend to increase over time. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, when I've been using the customized cubes, I have been able to get a little bit higher ROI percentage on average. Okay, usually somewhere between two and a half and three percent. Whereas when I use their pre-built strategies, it's usually in the lower two percent, like 2.1 to 2.4 percent, somewhere in that range. Okay, but the downside is that every now and then I'll see a day like this, okay, where I'm only getting like five dollars that day. Okay, it just happened again on my most recent cube. Here I only got five dollars and seventy-six cents. Okay, if I click right here. You can see the details, okay? This one was using XRP and TRX. Now, I had actually selected BTC and Dash as well. And for some reason, those two did not get activated. Only XRP and TRX did. Now, I was using a pretty high risk level on this one, okay? I was using C, which is just one step below the very most aggressive that you can be. And so that's kind of how it goes. The more aggressive that you go, the more returns you can potentially get, but also the more potential risk there is as well. And that seems to be what what happened here. Now, some of the other days, like for example, with this one, you can see I was using the exact same risk level. Okay, that was a C risk level. And I was using the same strategies as well, trend following arbitrage and momentum strategies. And this time Dash actually got activated along with TRX and XRP. You can see the total income for that day was $21.10. The fee was $6.33. So my net income was $14.77. Okay, now if we compare that to my results using their pre-built strategies. So let's look at this one. Okay, you can see here they activated five different currencies. So they're getting more variety than you're able to get when you customize your own. Now the total income is just slightly lower. So here it was $17.57 with a $5.27 fee, giving me a total net income of $12.30, which is still a really, really nice return. But the thing that I really like about it is how consistent it is. Okay, the pre-built strategies have never given me any problems whatsoever. Again, it tends to be somewhere between like 2.1 to maybe 2.5% daily ROI, which is still really, really good. Okay, now, whereas with the customized strategies, I can get closer to 3% daily ROI, but it kind of seems to cancel it out when I have those days where I'm getting a really low ROI. And it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it kind of offsets the difference. So from now on, I think I'm just gonna be sticking to those pre-built strategies for a while because I'm perfectly happy getting that two to 2.5% daily ROI without really having to worry about anything else in terms of anything failing to activate or anything like that. Okay, now again, I've got over $700 here in my account balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate a new cube right now. So I'm gonna come over here to cube, then click on this plus sign to add a new cube. And now here, instead of coming over here and clicking on the customize tab this time, I'm just gonna leave it on smart. Okay, so now here for please select cube, I'm gonna do a 24 hour cube. So I'll click right here. And then for input amount, I'm just gonna go ahead and click all. So that takes all $711 and puts that into this cube. Now for server, I'm just gonna select the very top one. And then I'm gonna scroll down here and click on create. And now we give this just a second for all of this to be created. And there we go, now it's finished creating. You can see the status is now running. Okay, now one other thing, if I come over here and click user, you can see that in my coins up here, I have 290.94. So I'm getting really close to being able to upgrade my server. So if I come here to more and click upgrade server, you can see that the first upgrade costs 300 of these coins. So I'm getting really, really close guys. Okay, if I come back, I can click right here where it says mining and I'll go ahead and mine some new coins right now. I'll click mining and give this just a few moments. And there we go, I've received my reward. I got another 0.16 of these coins. And now it starts a fresh round of the mining. 
Okay, so obviously it takes time to accumulate these coins, but over time it does add up. So I'm getting really close to being able to upgrade. Obviously that doesn't make a tremendous difference. I think the first upgrade only cuts down the time by a few minutes. So instead of taking four hours for a cube to complete, it might only take like three hours and 45 minutes. Or if I'm using a 24 hour cube like I typically do, it might complete in like 23 and a half hours instead of 24 hours. Okay, so maybe not a huge difference, but over time it does add up. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you guys, I did go ahead and make another withdrawal recently. So if I come over here and click withdraw and then TRC 20 and then click this icon up here at the top, I can see my records. So there are my withdrawal records. Now in past videos, I showed you guys how I made my very first deposit pretty much like one day after I started using the platform. Okay, I had just deposited a small amount then went ahead and withdrew that plus the profits from one day just to make sure that the withdrawals actually worked on this platform. And then once I saw that it did and it all went through in just a couple of minutes, then I went ahead and redeposited back onto the platform. You can see all my deposits here. Okay, if I come back to withdraw now, a few days ago, I made another withdrawal of $568. There it is. And just as before, it went through really quickly in just a few minutes. I think it only took between maybe five and 10 minutes and then those funds were right there in my wallet. Okay, and then I went ahead and redeposited back into the platform again, as you can see right here. So I did keep about $20 of those profits. Okay, I withdrew 568 and deposited 548 because I was using that $20 to bridge to a different token that I needed for another project. Okay, but everything went through with absolutely no problems, so no worries there. And again, go back and watch my first video about Qubits Cube if you want to see the step-by-step -step on how to withdraw. It's actually super easy and self-explanatory. But again, I do have the link for that first video down below in the description for you guys. Okay, so that's pretty much the latest on Qubits Cube. It's still absolutely crushing. This has been one of the most reliable, most consistent projects this year. It has been running for over six months now. And there's really no other project out there like it in DeFi right now. And that's why I've been talking about it so much here on this channel. I've just been having absolutely fantastic results, as you guys can see. So again, if you want to check it out, I've got the link for you guys down below in the description where you can go ahead and get started. So guys, if you got value out of this video, do me a favor and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you enjoy hearing about these new and upcoming DeFi projects and ways to make money in the crypto space, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a few Future video. Also, make sure you follow me over on Twitter or X as it's now called and join my Telegram group so you can stay connected. And I've got links for both of those down below in the description as well. And guys, as always, remember that everything in crypto and in DeFi should be considered high risk, high reward. So always do your own due diligence and only use risk capital to invest in these kinds of projects. So with that said, guys, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again in the next video.